Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been quite some time since I posted a video or even recorded anything and you know I always say that I'm going to and I just don't have time and I feel like I just am always doing something. I never have like just some peace and quiet in my life but you know that's not a bad thing. I'm always doing something so I don't get bored. And today I'm making my shrimp scampi which every single time that I post like a video or a picture of this specific dish I get so many people asking me like how did you do it? Post your recipe, make a video So I thought you know what, what better way than to just make this video um, I know that I don't look all that great, I just got into the gym So I'm about to start dinner But before I go into dinner um, I did ask you guys like some questions on Instagram um, Things that you guys want to know since it's been quite some time that I have even posted a video um, I already told you guys like I went back to school um, My life is all over the place again But I can't complain because I'm getting a step closer to my goal and what I want to do with my life so um, Someone asked me what was your diet after your babies your body is goals so to be honest I eat really, 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 really bad. I um, I don't meal prep. I mean, I tried for a little bit, but I mean, that's so hard to keep up with, especially being so busy. Um, I don't have time to just, I mean, it probably would be easier, but um, I would be the only one meal prepping, so that means I would have to make my food plus the meals for my family, and that just seems like too much work, you know? And... I don't work out a lot. Um, I try to, but to be honest, after I had my daughter, I didn't feel the need that I needed to like get my body back right away. I think that I just wanted to enjoy being a mom. And you know, um, with my first daughter, I was young, so I just wanted to like get back to it. I felt like I was very pressured um, at the time to look good. And I think that I missed out on like the little things you know, um, the second time around, my husband, I wasn't with him for my first daughter. Um, so the second time, you know, I had a partner. He was very supportive about anything that I wanted to do. He made me feel beautiful. He didn't make me feel like I had to go to the gym because I don't look good. Um, so I think that's why I really haven't focused on it. Now that she's a year already, I do try to go as much as I can because now, you know, I want to do what's healthy for me but also be a mom first that's like my main thing is to be a mom before anything and since i'm balancing out everything i think i want to put more into the gym i want to start dieting um so yeah and then someone put how do you balance everything in your everyday life i guess um because people see me on snapchat and instagram how crazy literally I, i'm always doing something um I work my graveyard shifts every other weekend. I used to work them like five days straight and I stopped doing that to go back to school. Um, after I work a graveyard shift, I don't have anybody to help me. Um, my husband goes to work. My mom, who used to help me with my kids, she started working. And so when I get home, I get off at seven in the morning. I come home, I shower, I lay down. But if my husband's not home, then I have to just stay up with the girls. I have to, you know, I can't sleep unless they're sleeping. And it's really hard with my five-year-old because she's always bored. She's like, mom, I'm bored. I want to do this. I want to do that. So it is hard, but they do let me relax. So I'm glad that my daughter's, well, my older daughter sees that, you know, I'm tired. I work at night and she tries, but you know, she's a kid. They're going to get bored and they're going to bother you. Um, with school, I hadn't I haven't been in school in a long time, so I definitely think it's been a challenge for me. Um, I had two months to get my associates, and I feel like I was overwhelmed at first, but my family, my husband, everybody honestly makes me feel like I'm doing it right and that I'm not being too crazy about balancing out every sorry guys my camera died but like I was saying that it is really hard and I still feel like sometimes I don't do a good job on balancing out everything you know sometimes I just want to quit and my husband always reminds me like you know it's already hard as it is like going to school and you know you you work you go to school but, like give yourself a break and it's hard because I feel like my kids should always come first and sometimes, you know, I have to, 
you know let let the baby cry and let him deal with her because you know i have to do homework i have a test like just little things you know make you feel guilty but um i think i definitely need to learn to balance out more like time for myself because i think i feel i know that i put everybody before me and maybe that's what i need to work on is i you know i make it look easy but it's not because i do it everything for everybody and i need to start doing things for myself and let's see do you like making cake or pastries aside from cooking um honestly no i've never tried baking because i feel like i'd be so bad at it my older sister bakes and it's good and i love eating her stuff but as for me no i don't i don't try to bake or anything like that it looks really hard let's see how often do you grocery shop and where so i used to grocery shop like twice a week but i've limited it down to once a week and i go to are you okay mama are you okay i limited it limited to i limited it i moved it to once a week and i shop at sprouts for my like vegetables and my fruit i think sprouts has like the best the best the best fruit ever it's so good and honestly people think that it's so expensive and it's not it's actually i think it's better than buying it at walmart and it lasts way longer um i buy my red potatoes from sprouts i buy the chicken from there and the ground beef like i love it from there i've never gone back to getting it from walmart or anywhere like that walmart i get um like the baby snacks i get the noodles like i get everything else oh and shrimp i get that from sprouts because they're the big ones and everybody always asks me where i get them um so yeah i grocery shop once a week and that's sprouts or walmart well actually both i go both let's see how do you cook so yummy and still manage to maintain your figure so that goes back to the other one um i don't think i cook unhealthy though i think that i try not to make a lot of fattening stuff even though sometimes i do my husband loves like red meat he loves his potatoes like he likes stuff like that so i'll just try to eat less if i make it but a girl's gotta eat so let's see how do you and your husband have such a great marriage you both always look so happy so no i'm just kidding um honestly marriage is hard like we've been together for a few years but i feel like ever since we got married you know we've had to work on things more because now it's like we're married like we can't just get in a fight and break up and be like okay bye whatever we're married so i mean literally you have to just learn to just get over things i used to like sometimes i still do get mad about little things but communication is like the biggest thing and i think that we struggled at first with it um but you know he and me will be like okay let's talk about it um you know i never tried to portray that my my relationship is perfect because it's not like i don't want people to think and honestly going talking about that i want to get into another subject really fast because you know when i post about me and my husband you know people tell me like oh like so and so said that your marriage is fake because you're always posting it um you look too happy blah 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 i'm not gonna post us fighting i'm not gonna post us like being mad at each other and b i'm not gonna post about him if i'm pissed off at him so i like toned it down on posting about each other because you know we're so busy i don't plan like oh today i'm gonna post my husband no it just if it happens it happens and you know i guess i got so busy with my life that people started saying like oh they're having problems because they're not posting about each other um they're broken up like if i don't go a week without posting my husband i've had people ask me like hey are you still married and i'm like what like i'm sorry so either do you want me to post my husband or do you not because like whether i post him or not people always have something to say and honestly i've learned not to care what anybody says at first it was really hard for me because i loved showing off my you know my my husband and everything and you know people had so much negativity to say like oh you don't post someone when you're really happy and blah 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 like well i mean i don't post him when i'm not happy you know i don't know just getting into that i um i don't want people to think that my life is perfect because it's not you know i don't think anybody's relationship is perfect and if they tell you it is then i mean good for them i'm not gonna sit here and say oh hell no you know no if your marriage is perfect then good for you you know we're not even a year married and we've had some struggles but you know we try to get through it 
um, I know he loves me and I love him and at the, at the end of the day I don't care what anybody's opinion is if you're not my husband my parents my kids, you know, so That's I know that's totally off topic, but I just had to say that cuz you know Anyways, the next question she put not really a question, but I love your recipes I've made your tortilla soup and lettuce wraps I love seeing people write to me that they've tried my recipes because I don't think they're hard. People just, you know, see lettuce wraps and, oh, that's hard to make. But honestly, it's one of the easiest things. And what I'm about to make is so easy and so good. It's like I literally make it so fast and I love to eat it because it's so delicious. And honestly, it's, it's not a lot of ingredients. It's a one pan kind of deal and it's super good. So I'm excited to show you guys. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah um, I guess I went over pretty much some stuff I talked about school and everything um, so let's get into cooking so this is just some of the ingredients you guys are gonna need you have your noodles I get these at Walmart along with the lemons my butter the shrimp everyone asks me because they're the big ones I do get this bag at Sprouts um, you're gonna need your parsley flakes your garlic, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and of course your olive oil. So first thing first, you wanna let this sit in here. You wanna let the noodles um, cook a little bit until it's bubbly and they're all soft. But while you're doing that, my shrimp was frozen, so I put it just like in a plastic container and hot, hot, hot water. So while this is making, this is uh, defrosting. Okay, so while this is going, almost ready, while that is going, I went ahead and peeled my shrimp. I know that looks really gross, but I went ahead and peeled it. Um, and then I'm gonna turn on this. I have it on already. I'm gonna put some olive oil. Don't be scared like to put too much olive oil because you don't want your shrimp to get like super dried or anything like that. So I'm gonna let that warm up a little bit. I'm gonna start putting my shrimp in. So everyone always asks me, um, because I do cook, cook shrimp a lot, you guys. Like I literally can cook shrimp every single day if I could. Um, and a lot of people tell me like, hey, like how did you get your shrimp so big? Mine shrinks a lot. Um, honestly, the shrimp from Sprouts is so amazing. I love it so much. You don't want to have um, it too high, sorry. You don't want to have it too high because that's when it like it dries out and all that stuff. So first what I do is I put some salt all... Okay, what I do first is I'm going to put some salt. You don't want to put like too much. Um, of course, you're going to put some pepper. And again... Um, I don't give like how much to put because I feel like everyone's different and you kind of know more or less how you like it to taste. You're going to go ahead and do your garlic powder and um, everybody asks me, oh my god, how do you get your shrimp that color? So the secret is, I don't know if you can see that, paprika. Honestly, it gives it um, some flavor and it makes the color amazing. So I'm going to let that cook. It already smells so good. I love shrimp, you guys. I don't know if you're not a shrimp person. You can also do this with chicken. Um, I know sometimes, you know, my daughter, she eats shrimp, but, you know, I know kids, not a lot of kids like shrimp. So I'll do this for her, but with chicken. So you can do the same thing. Another thing is sometimes I put asparagus in this, and it's super good. So, again, just cook this shrimp or the chicken with asparagus. And, yeah super good so I'm gonna add a little bit more paprika I'm gonna let that cook the noodles seem yeah like they're about ready so how I know when they're ready it's kind of hard to do this with one hand but I always squeeze them like if they can come off then they're perfect that means that they are ready I'm gonna turn that off I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I'm going to try. 
And then you're just gonna go ahead and put that in there so that it can drain. Let me fix this. Oh. So I always turn on the cold water and let them go because then they get like hard and stuff. So I go ahead and put cold water, run it through it. And then I let that sit there till the shrimp is ready. So, and I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So I'm sorry if it's like bad quality or not like perfect at making YouTube videos. I just do this for fun. And I love to cook, you guys. I literally cook every day. If I can't cook, it's because I'm super busy, but I usually cook every single day. So I'm gonna let the shrimp cook a little bit more, but look how freaking, oh, that's not smart. Look how freaking bomb, you guys. Or I don't know if it's just me who freaking loves shrimp so, so much. After I clean, this is the same dish, I clean it, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to do the olive oil again, but this time, you guys, you want to put more. You need olive oil for this. I know sometimes, I know people are gonna be like, ew, like why so much? But honestly, you're gonna see why you need so much. I think that's about good. And then you're going to need some butter. So, let's see. You don't wanna have it too high, like I said, cause then it's gonna get all crazy. Okay. And then you're gonna want to add your garlic. Yeah, mama. So you're just gonna get your spoon and add some garlic. You're gonna let that go in there. And then mix it around. And then you're gonna get your noodles. And you're gonna put them in. I'm only making this for me and my husband, so I'm not gonna make like too much. Um, I'm just gonna make for when I know that we eat. So you're gonna mix it around. You want the olive oil to get all up in the noodles. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna mix everything around. You're gonna have your garlic and everything in there. You guys can add more butter if you guys like that buttery flavor. Um, I cut about two to three of the lemons and then I just squeeze them in there. Um, it also depends if you guys like it to be that lemony taste. Um, personally, I don't really care. My husband is the one that likes it to be taste, like taste super lemony. So that's when I'll put more. But I think if you cut up two of them, it should be good. Also, it just depends how much you're making. Um, this is not that much, so I'm only gonna um, put two of them and then I'll taste it and if I need to add more Then I will add more um, I also I know I put the diced garlic in here But I do add a little bit of my garlic powder not too much just some you know the garlic is gonna give it that really good flavor So you're gonna mix it up And I can already smell it. It smells so good. I'm gonna try a noodle, see what I need to add. Mm, I would say just a little bit more butter and some more lemon. Like I told you guys, my husband likes it to taste like lemon. So I'm gonna cut one and just squeeze half of the side, not all of it. So I don't think it needs too much. And then some more garlic powder. Again, you guys know what you like, so you can add or not put as much stuff that I'm putting. I'm just showing you guys like how I make it. And then I'm gonna get my shrimp, throw it in there so that it can get that flavor from the shrimp as well. So you mix it. And like I told you guys that sometimes I put um, asparagus and it's so good with it, but Honestly, I did not plan on making this video. So, I add this on top. And honestly, everyone's 
tanks it just looks super fancy because i add that um before i go though i just want to tell you guys that the way i eat it is i finish it off with some chili powder i don't know if you guys could see that um i just put some on top and honestly i think that it gives it that finishing touch um personally i love spicy stuff so that's why i like it like that but let me show you guys so that's if it would focus that's how it comes out and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Um, I know that it's not anything crazy. I don't pretend to be a chef. I don't say I'm a chef, nothing like that. Just this was one of the most requested things. And I'm trying to make it of a habit to post more about one of the most requested foods. So hopefully next week I come up with something that you guys like. So go ahead and comment below what you guys want me to show you guys next. And if you guys aren't already, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Snapchat, Twitter, April Danny. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you guys later.